Happy, or oh, hi guys, Todd here, vlog time. Uh, happy Wednesday night. Uh, right, I'm recording this early because I don't think I have any other vape mail arriving. I think, I think. Um, and, and I've got other stuff to do this week and so uh, I'm recording the vlog early and by the time you see this it'll probably be Thursday night and it'll just about be time for the Ideal Home Show to come on, I would imagine. Uh, right, um, this week, uh, right, what did I do reviews-wise? Reviews-wise, last night, for me, I put up a review for this thing here that has modest, uh, stabilised wood version and, um, ooh, lots of comments on YouTube. I wouldn't pay that for that. Um, and, and I'm not, you know, each, yeah, each to their own. Uh, I can see where people are coming from. We've all got our own point of view and how we see things and that's cool and gravy. Never get that gravy expression. Um, I, I, I can only say to you, I, get, I've, I, I arrived yesterday. I used it all last night. I've used it all today. It's in power mode. It's not missed a beat, um, and it is bloody lovely to hold on to. It really is. It's really lovely to hold on to. And I, do you know what it doesn't have? Do you know what? Do you know what the flaw with what, taking everything out of the equation? The flaw with it is, it's, it's perfect. It's it's um, and. <laughs> No, no, you're in the bad books. <laughs> He's in the bad. He was up all last night. Um, he wasn't a well wee man. Um, and then, so I was up like half three, four o'clock in the morning with him. And then um, he's, he's fine now. He's just had a bad night. Uh, so I'm lying there this morning, supposed to leave the house at about a quarter to nine to head to work. Um, and what woke me up, and I kid you not, was him running through the house with an empty bleach bottle. Well, it had a tiny bit, you keep toilet brush and um, a bottle of bleach behind the toilet. He's five years old and and he just, I, I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. So of course I did the wall of death. I thought, oh my God, he's drinking bleach. Uh, but uh, no, so he's just been on a wind up mission. He's just, if anything's, looks like it would piss us off if he could pick it up, he'll pick it up. So, where is it going with that? Anyway, yes, I'm tired and uh, I got, yeah, this, it's, it's almost, it is, right, um, how can I say this with, oh god, I don't know, can I make this comparison? No. It does feel like it was made by machine um, or mass produced. I don't know how they made it or who made it or, or that kind of stuff. But like, I, I know that, you know, Jim, uh, Jim Shorrock made this. And when I pick this up and I look at it, I can I can see Jim beavering away and, and, and making this and, you know, putting these smiley faces on a bit of wood and, and, and all that kind of stuff and I have an attachment to it because of that because it's and, and that's what I like about these kind of mods whereas this one is 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 and I'll go back to the car analogy for me it's almost like an Audi absolutely brilliant cars but soulless I've always found them to be I've loved owning them but I find them soulless um as standard, uh, and that's just my yeah take on things. Uh, so that that's my major criticism with this, my major criticism with it. But I still think it's bloody nice. I do think I I, I do wish that you know you can buy a standard minikin for one hundred and fifty watt for about sixty quid. Uh, you're going to pay another couple of hundred pound almost. Well, another what? £180 more to get the stabilised version, wood version. I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, aye. Yes. But 
ultimately at the end of the day I'm really enjoying using it and that's the biggest thing best thing I can say about it uh, also this week I did a review for other stuff which I can't remember sorry <laughs> I can't remember <laughs> oh, just, um, I did this is going to be one of these <laughs> reviews uh, actually I will stop here and, and I will say right yes okay um, <laughs> just the um, the gilly, the gill um, that uh, Mr. Bissardo did a review for it. What? I just pulled that out of his ear. Um, now they sent me one on as well. It's it's Kang. Is it Kanger's sister company or whatever they they are? Um, the 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 gill, that thing. Um, and the, so they sent me one on as well. Now. Um, I've, what I've done is I've recorded another one of these quick up close video type things uh, uh, to show you and discuss it and um, so I'm just going to launch straight into that just now. Right, uh, this is going to be one of these little vid huh? video segments that uh, I just drop into a vlog uh, and I'm just going to start recording these just when I'm um, Ah, oh, he's so doing. He's doing my head in. He's absolutely doing my head in. I was going to discuss the 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 gilly or the gill. Um, I think it's Kanger's sister company or something like that. Um, this thing here. Now I'm not going to go into a great deal of detail on it because Mr. B, uh, the main man, has done a full-on review on it, and I sat and watched it. I think that it was a half Pissardo, it was 30 minutes. No, it was actually slightly longer than a half Pissardo. Uh, Pissardo's 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm talking shite now. Um, so, if, if you want to know up close details and all that, go and watch that video. Uh, please, I, I'll link to it in the description. Uh, I couldn't show you or tell you anything more than what you see in the main man's video. What I will say is that for me, I found that um, to fill it, take it apart, everything, dead dead easy, really, really easy. The coil in it is a great idea. I, I think it's a fun, it's different. It's something different, which I really like and enjoy about the tank. Um, it's just a shame that I think the tank's shit. <laughs> It's just flawed. Um, you know, you can dry burn the coil, you can pull some more cotton through it and set it up and away you go again. All that is fantastic. It really is. Uh, and, and, you know, 10 out of 10 for all that side of things. Um, where it falls down is that the airflow, right? I can do it. it it's got a bit of restriction to it, granted, but it's it's a, a cloud chaser. It's it's a lung hitter. Um no two ways about it. There's there's this is not a mouth to lung tank in any shape or form. Uh there's no adjustable airflow, so the the vape you get is is that is what you get. Now, uh using a 70% VG, um 35 watts is as high as I can go. And it's a, it's a, it's a 0.2 ohm coil. A 0.2 ohm coil at 35 watts is, with lots of air, is is not a good combination. Um, now, but as I've discussed many times in the past, I am, what I, I'm not a cloud chaser. I enjoy it every once in a while, but primarily I'm. I'm not a mouth to lung vapour now either, I'm kind of in the middle. Um, but, right, here we go. Uh, 35 watts. It's not masses of vapour for the airflow. It's an incredibly cool vape. Incredibly cool. Now you probably think, crank the wattage up. 
I can't crank the wattage up because if I do, then I get dry hits. I'll get two draws, dry hit. Um, you, you can really tell very quickly uh, when this is starting to struggle with uh, wicking. Um, and that's it. That's where it all falls apart for me. I, I don't care really how cheap it is, how well made it seems to be, how different it is, how the, the coiling system, and, and well, I don't care how great all that is. If it's not delivering the vape that I think it should be, then it's failed. This should be, this this should be warmer. This should be so much warmer. It really should, and and I don't like a hot, really hot vape. I, I've never liked it for since I started vaping. Not a fan. Um, but even I can tell that this needs more power going to the coil. You need to be able to put more power to that coil. Now I've tried removing uh, the cotton and using cotton bacon Scottish roll method. Tried that. Uh, I tried reducing the amount of cotton. Uh, I've tried several ways of trying to get it to wick better. 35 watts each time it just seems to... yeah. It's a shame. It really is a shame uh, because it uh, could have been really, really, really good. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe some people will find. You know, if you went down to a fifty-fifty, um, you probably get a bit higher wattage out of it, and it'll wick faster. Um, but, but as it stands, I mean, if I pop this up to forty watts just now. Here we go, we'll give this a... Is it starting to get a little bit tickly? That's it. <coughs> That's it. That is the limit. Um, flavours not bad the flavours not bad but it does uh, yeah you get what I mean you get what I'm getting at or I hope you do um, once again go watch uh, Mr B's video and you'll see it broken down taken to bits uh, the coil getting just everything that you want to know about the tank these were just my humble thoughts on it and and how I found it and I personally couldn't recommend this based on the fact that it's just too cool a vape it doesn't work fast enough and you can't put enough power to the coil to get a really good vape from it that's it back to the show we go now I can't remember what I said during that because I recorded that a week ago um, but just to summarise, I agree with whatever that guy said. He knows what he's talking about. No, I don't. I can't remember. Uh, just, I would go and watch Mr. Bissardo's video. Um, but for me, I think it's a flawed, flawed device. And, and that's it. Um, now, this arrived. The Serpent Mini 25. I love this. Now it comes with a single coil deck and a dual coil deck. Now I really, really enjoy the Serpent Mini. Um, I use it an awful lot. If you see me on Facebook or Instagram, you'll see that a lot of the photos I put out have the Serpent Mini on it. Um, the 25, um, does it suffer from being bigger? Uh, I find the flavour to be just as good. And I, and yeah, it's just bigger. But I like the fact they've included the two decks. Uh, and it's 25mm in diameter and, and that's about it. Um, so I am enjoying the Serpent Mini 25. I cannot however say the same for the Troll V2 25. Um, whilst uh, I... The only reason I'm not enjoying it is because it's a big chamber in there. 
and I, I, the Troll V2, whilst was, I liked it, it wasn't my kind of thing. Um, because it's, this is so much bigger inside, uh, I think the flavour suffers because of that. And you have to really put low, low resistance built. I mean, I've got dual coil 0.2 ohm in this at 70 watts. Me, 70 watts. Um, I mean, it's exactly the same. It's got those three O-rings going on. Still no problem with my top cap putting it on and off. Um, and I've got silly competition Clapton thingy-my-bobbers going on in there. And... It's all right, but it's it's just big inside. I just think it's too big. But if you're after a 25 mm RDA and you like building at low low resistances, I think you would love it. Uh, it's just not for me. Um, before I go any further, again, I am um, now. This is the I bought this from Apparition Mods. Okay, it's a DNA 200 custom built device. Okay. Um, did a, a review for that. Now, there is a guy, I, I just came across him on my timeline in Facebook, um, Keith David. Uh, he's wheelchair bound, he has an NHS wheelchair, and he's trying to raise money to buy a wheelchair of his own, which it means he'll be more mobile, because the NHS ones are big clunky things. It's five and a half grand, so I saw it come up in my timeline and I thought, ah, what the hell. Uh, so, on my Facebook page, this is only on my Facebook page, I'm doing a, a, a charity auction, if you like. Um, so I've auctioned this, I'm auctioning this off. It's all the funds that the, whoever wins has the highest bid. The money goes straight to Keith David. It doesn't come anywhere near me, just to make that clear. Um, so it's currently sitting at £160 um, and I did say if it gets anywhere near um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this if it gets anywhere near the £300 mark then I will include uh, a vape droid as well I'll throw that into the mix um, just to say thank you but that's only if it gets near the £300 mark uh, so, once again, that's just on my Facebook page. I... Now, um, other exciting things arrived today. A couple of exciting things arrived today. Um, one of which is here, and I need a, a, a device to put this on. I think I'll just get the... Oh no, it's one of these things, so I'll need one of these things, which is here and I'll need one of these battery type things um, I've got batteries kicking about here I should do I'm a vape reviewer don't you know I have batteries everywhere um, like, there we go um, does this go up or down I can never remember I'll put it that way if uh, there's smoke <laughs> appears now then you'll know that I've put the battery in the wrong way here uh, One, two, three. <laughs> it's working. Right. Now, this is a prototype. Um, so, whilst it looks like... <laughs> this is from EVL. Um, the people that make the Reaper. Um, which I have here. Tremendous flavour. Tremendous flavour from this thing. So, um, John um, sent me on a prototype of his squonking atty that's coming out. Now, it's not going to look like a kettle. You know, it's not going to look like a kettle when it's it the goes on sale to the public. Uh, this is just the, the prototype edition, um, which looks like a kettle. It does. It looks just like my kettle in the house. It's just missing a wee handle and a spout. Anyway, um, so I'm just in that. This. Oh, how can. Right, to those of you that have EVL Reapers, 
rejoice because this atty flavour is is there. It's there with the Reaper. It's bang on. It really is. I don't think I'm allowed to show you inside. Um, but oh, it's, it's, it's got such a a, do, a low dome on it. Um, oh my. Um, it's it's not a cloud chaser. It's it's not designed for you guys that like to chucketh cloudeth. Uh, it's really as a restricted lung hit. Uh, if you want to do a lung hit, it's really restricted, but you can tighten it right down mouth to lung. Um, it's just, yeah, that's about all I can say. The flavour, flavours, awesome, awesome. It really is. Uh, very. I can't go over the way it looks. Yes, it's a hand turned prototype, but so um, just have to wait and see. Uh, I don't know how far away it is from completion and all that kind of stuff, but I'm really happy to have it. Uh, the other thing that just arrived today was this. Uh, I think this is, I think plenty of people have got this already. This is the Hurricane Junior. Um, and that's a hurricane drip tip that's on top of it there just now. Um, that's the the new H Cigar uh, VT75 Nano Edition. That's a single 18650 battery it takes. Uh, and it's, it's, it's tiny. It's tiny. Uh, so I've just actually wicked this up just now. Bloody hell. Well, you can really, really open that up. Oh, I'm surprised by that. Really surprised by the amount of air that for a hurricane. Strange. Very strange getting that amount of air through a hurricane. But can I tighten it right down? I can, I can tighten it right down. Flavour's quite good. Um, it, for me, uh, ha it, it just... Things I like about it off the bat is that the, the build deck, that the chamber's huge, a load of cotton, you know how you put the cotton in a hurricane and uh, you kind of like fold it down in front of the wick hole? Um, it's massive and you've got you can adjust the amount of wicking that you get um, I, I really like that uh, I, the flavors bloody good on it um, but it's I don't know I don't know um, the original hurricane I had felt like a premium product, the very first one that ever came out felt the the resurrection dripper that I've still got after all this time uh, felt like a premium product. This I, I don't know, just kind of doesn't. I don't, I don't know if it's the bell cap, you know the or, or yeah. I've not mm, I'm not feeling it. It vapes really well, but I'm not feeling the yeah. Comes with spare O-rings though. Um, the little VT75 is, it's just a 75 watt. Uh, I, I, and it's a lot smaller than the other one, the 26650s. Um, but yeah, look at that. It's it's quite dinky and tiny. I quite like this. I really, I, I do quite like that. Um, other stuff, right. Where are we? Where do we go now then? Um, oh, I did a review for the Movkin disguiser. Uh, I reviewed the squonky bit that uh, came. Um, they also sent me the, the JC25 RTA. Um, 
which I I I might I've got batteries, I have got batteries in this. I might just lump that into another vlog. Um I'm not really wanting to do a full review on it. It's much along the lines of Griffin things like that. Uh, put that there. It's actually not a bad tank. Seriously, it's not a bad tank at all. Um, I mean, the problem is going to check. I was going to check this door. Um, I'm sure Dean uh, Dean was going to review this this squonky bit, or if he's done it, and he said that the door was really w wobbly. I've got no wobble on on my door at all. It's perfect. Strange. Um, so. I, 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 I don't know what to tell you, I, I, I've reviewed the Disguiser already, okay? That's me re reviewed the squonking attachment and the dripper that comes with it, and there's also, they've got their own tank as well. I, I, I really, whilst I think this is a big, it's so far removed from what I like to vape with. I'm, I, I'm struggling to come to not like it. It just, it seems to do the job, and and I can't, and 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 I like that about it. So, and it's kind of cheap, and something that's cheap and just works is is good in my book, very good. Um, so there's that. Um, the. Where's my behemoth gone? Once again, I can only say that um, I still love, um, and remember, I got it from vapegeek.co.uk. They sent it on free for me to play with, um, and that's the, the Modfather RTA. I'm going to say it again. I think I said it last week. Um, whilst this thing is humongous, Absolutely humongous. I mean, it's a 30 mil RTA. Um, the 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 flavour from it doesn't leak. It just shocks me. It just shocks me that something this big is that good. More power. More power, Captain. The dilithium crystals, they can't he take it. I need even more power. Oh my god, 0 0.15 ohm coil. Well, I just remembered I had this at silly, silly wattages. Well, I'm talking about 45. That's silly, silly for me. Just when 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 oh, I've probably said this already. When this thing arrived, I, I mean, I really thought they were taking the piss out of me. I really did think that you know. I thought that Rob and Nat, a really really nice couple, a lot of time for them. And when they sent this on, I thought they were taking the piss. I thought they were just winding me up. I thought they'll have a chuckle. They'll send this on because they know that it's not going to be my kind of thing. So hard to fault it. So hard to fault it. I think they did a really good job in that. Really good. Uh, right, moving on. Swiftly moving on. Um, where's it gone? Um, let's let's dig this out. Happiness today. Happiness today was. Um, burp, burping. Excuse me for burpage. Um, Let's just uh, get this at it on here. Now, I did get the the shift from Boost Lab. I've said in the past, uh, I'll say it again. You in? So 
sorry, I had to stop there. TJ was making a break for it. Um, I'm I, I, <laughs> just going to go so wrong now. I'll just keep going. What the hell? Um, I got so I got the shift from Boost Lab. Uh, now uh, I am a quite a fan of Minwoo's work. Boost Lab. Um, I think he he makes. It's kind of unique, the gear he makes, because it's primarily directed towards mouth-to-lung vapours flavour. Um, I, I was struggling, struggling getting this to wick, not gurgle, and get good flavour from it. And today, I perfected my build. Uh, so chuffed, so, so chuffed. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Um, is it a million? Uh, it's not a million miles away from the other K louds and Izzy's and things like that. It's not. Um, it's on par with them. It's uh, it's like the K loud but holds more juice and you got more adjustability in the airflow. Uh, but it's a dinky little thing and. I'll get a review out for it. I'll try and record a review for this tomorrow. Now that I've cracked the build, I'm happy with it and I can review it. Uh, so, there's that. Um, what else? Billet box. Still rocking the billet box. It's still my come home vape device. Um, or if I'm chilling out having a lazy day on a Sunday or a Saturday in bed, it's the device that I hang on to and vape with. Um, right, I'm kind of uh, going to wrap it up now because I think that's about it. Um, yes, that is about it. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's go. Do I have anything to mention on... Um, yep, I've still got the... Limitless mod to review. I've still got the uh, the home slice to review. Um, and let's just have a quick look through here. See if there's anything that I've mentioned that on my uh, Facebook that I should mention here because not everybody has Facebook. Um, Anakin Disruptor TC75 and Axiom. Um, I really like the Disruptor. It's it's strange. I you know I, I I do reviews, so I keep an eye on how many people watch videos and things like that. And I really not many people watch my videos on Anakin products. Um, compared to my other reviews, and ah. Uh, it's a shame because they, they do, I do, I like them as a company, I really do. Um, oh, I forgot to say, uh, thank you to everybody last week that wished me a happy birthday. And once again, I want to say thank you to everybody that sent a message. Um, I apologise that I did not reply directly to everybody because there was a few messages and, and and there is no way on this earth that I could have replied to all of them or, or had conversations with all these people uh, I just I, it would have been next year before I got through them all so this is just I've said it twice already in places but I'm just saying it once again thank you to everybody for wishing a happy far a happy birthday um, a happy fart uh, um also, oh, I watched uh, <laughs> um, Stranger Things. So enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, that was just an awesome series. It really was good. Um, it had like the, the, the whole John Carpenter Tangerine Dream soundtrack thing going on. Total synth overfest. Uh, it was just brilliant. Um, anyway, sorry to bore you there. Um, 
Right, that's everything that I need to uh, tell you about there that came up there. Uh, videos, what have I been watching? Ah, um, I've not been, I've not been, I've not, no time. I've no time to watch anything, I'm so sorry. Uh, I watched Inky Vapor. Uh, I was watching that today. Uh, I watched his review on the, the Kanger Drip Box 160. I enjoyed that. Um, and Plumes of Hazard. Watch that. Um, that's... That, oh, I hate to say this, but that's... Of course, I watched Mr. Brasado's uh, The Gilly Tank. Um, I was watching... Um, Grim Green's video on his new RDA, the recoil, and I watched Ruby Roo's version of it as well. And then I think that I bugged Dean last night in the small hours because, uh, what was it? Ruby said that it was the smoothest vape she'd ever had from an R probably the smoothest vape she'd ever had from an RDA. And I was like, I'm not having a go at Ruby here. Uh, I was like, how can it be the smoothest vape you ever had? Because it's just air going into a hole and then coming up and going out. Uh, how is it going to be any smoother? You know, you can adjust your air, well you can't in the recoil, but in most RDAs and things like that, you can adjust the airflow, um, you can adjust the coil position and, and you can vary it that way. But I, I just... Uh, how's it smoother? I mean, I understand the whole smooth airflow thing, you know, from an engine, you know, mucking about with carbs and things like that back in the day. Uh, SU carbs. Anybody else have the pleasure of mucking about with them? Oh, hateful things. Hateful things. Um, trying to balance two of them was just, ah. Um, right. So that was, I was just, I just, where was I going with that? I have no idea. What makes airflow smooth in an RDA? Uh, mm, uh, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, and, um, and that's, uh, that's that. Oh, I watched Dean doing his thing with the third arm. Um, I'm telling you, for a Ricky Gervais look-alike, he's a bloody idiot with the full third arm thing. Um, he's a Fruit Loop, um, and he does, he does. I'm going to say this: these whole mannerisms, things, Dean the Vaping Biker, it, it's just Ricky Gervais from the Office. I can see it. I can see it, and he's going to be calling me all the names under the sun for saying that but I don't care because I enjoy I enjoy the banter um, and that's about all I've watched this week I have nothing else to tell you not a thing um, review, reviews coming up right reviews there will be quick looks at the, the troll v2 25 the serpent mini 25 there will be a reviews for the Boost Lab um, shift. There will be reviews for the... Um, oh, the Ohm Slice and the Limitless mod. Uh, that will be coming as well. Um, that's it. I'm getting there. I am getting there. I said, I did. September's my goal. September is my goal for having a few weeks off. I'm I'm praying for it, but it just stuff keeps coming in, and I'm just. Uh, um, but I'll get there. I will get there. Um, yeah, nothing else to tell you, guys. You know what I'm going to say next, don't you? Yeah, I always say the same thing. Um, I could share my favourite recipe for pancakes just now, but I won't. I'll just say goodbye and thank you as always for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye.